Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. I thought today with it being so hot and having record-breaking heat across much of the country that it might be fun to just do a light, fluffy coffee. This coffee has been blowing up on TikTok. I didn't know anything about TikTok. I thought TikTok was something to do with a clock, but apparently it's a website or a I don't know what it is but anyhow there's a coffee a whipped coffee that everyone is trying on TikTok and I thought this would be an appropriate time to do it plus the fact that I was recently up in the Northwest and the Northwest is such an iconic location for so many different coffee brands so today we're gonna do something fun you can do it without a stove you can do it with just cold water even, but I'm going to do it with the hot water version. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to try several different ones. So come on and join me and let's see how it goes. The first whipped coffee that I'm going to make is just a plain, simple whipped coffee that you use with milk and anything else you want to mix with it. But this is my first one, and this is just the plain whipped coffee. So come on, I'll show you how to make it. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to get about two teaspoons of instant coffee. Then you're going to get about I do about four teaspoons of sugar, so two to one. So four teaspoons of sugar. And then you're just going to get about two teaspoons of hot water, two to three teaspoons. So I'll just pour that in there. I'll measure it by eye. One. I'll actually do three. Okay, then I'm going to just get this mixed up here good. Let the sugar dissolve. And after it's dissolved, and let the coffee dissolve a little bit, I'm just going to start whipping. And I'm going to use a whisk. If you're at home, you can do this with a hand blender or a blender it would be easier but if you're in a van and you don't have one you just whip it with a whisk I'm gonna whip this with a whisk and we'll come back when this is whipped up and show you but as it's going you can see it's already foaming and my experience has been that it takes about five minutes or so anywhere from five to seven minutes with a hand whisk but we'll do this and come back in a minute and let you see how it turns out Now it depends on how whipped you like it, but this is about the consistency that I like. So it's, you can see it has peaks. And this is actually was about, I'd say about maybe about four minutes of whipping. So I'm gonna put that down. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my almond milk. I'm gonna pour my almond milk in here. And then I'm going to top this off with my whip topping. And you can see how delightful that looks. Then I'm just going to take and stir it up just a little bit to get this a little bit fold it in and then what I'm gonna do you don't have to do this but I'm kind of decadent so I'm gonna top it off with just a little bit of whipped cream and there you go your very first drink and I'm gonna taste this and let you know how it turned out okay Let's see how this turned out, shall we? <laughs> Th 
this is watch out Starbucks because this is divine mm. and how simple was that I made it with almond milk you could make it with regular milk and I've tried it without using boiled water if you don't have the means to boil water but and also on the almond milk it comes in non-refrigerated as far as you can keep it non-refrigerated until you open it so and another little tip whenever I go to like a drive-through or something I always ask for an extra cup of ice so you can even get your ice to make it mm -hmm. I just thought that would be a fun thing to do this summer on your own in a van in your sticks and bricks or even if you have kids or grandkids it's such a fun drink to make and you can make it with almond milk that's chocolate flavored as you saw what I did I took and I just dipped a little bit in caramel and in hot chocolate to rim around the edge you can also try it with Splenda there are just so many recipes I'm even trying a recipe using instant pudding so why don't you do some of these recipes and comment write me in and let me know what you're doing and if you've done some of these whipped coffees let me know as those of you have who have been following me know I did a contest last week and I gave away one of my favorite kitchen gadgets which is a Mercer knife and also five of these colander drainers that go over your sink now I did hear from the person who won the knife and we're in contact but she said she had a little problem finding my website so I'm going to give you my website verbally but it, I did go back and check and it was at the bottom of my description on last week's video but I'm going to give it to those of you who won something or won one of the prizes it's glorious life on wheels at gmail.com so I have four people I still have not heard from who won one of the collapsible drainers and that's outside voices tidbits of life beginnings with buddy and Cindy and Janine last name starts with H ends with L so I am going to give one more week for those winners to respond and if I don't hear from those four winners of the other four drainers I'm gonna pull four more names because I do want to give these away they're a fun and very useful item to have whether you're in a house or a van so we're just rolling right along here thanks to all of you I next week am hoping I next week next week I'm hoping to have a guest chef on we'll see if that works out or not with everything that's going on but thank you so much for joining me this was a shorter video than usual but I thought it was just a fun summer video to do with kids or grandkids or even if you're on your own thank you next Thursday I'll see you again same time same place Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. May your journey be filled with joy and blessings. Bye till next Thursday. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know. Bye.